almost up to 30 seconds now with 2.6k to go. Yeah, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, isn't it? As Elisa Longo Borghini is holed into that kind of real time trial style. So Elisa Longo Borghini, multiple individual national time trial champion, is Longo Borghini, such a strong engine. Her mum was actually a biathlete, so uh, skiing and shooting in biathlon. Went to Olympic Games with my dad, actually. So that's our kind of family claim to fame. So she's got that real strong uh, genetics when it comes to that engine. She can just go all day, put out those big, big watts for such a long period of time. Demi Vollering now trying to do the same behind and as aerodynamic as she can and trying to hold off that peloton that's chasing. But 35 seconds now, the gap to Elisa Longo Borghini. So this is a phenomenal performance from the Italian. And these are these are the roads. These are psychologically these arrow straight roads that we've got when you're in this position as Davy Vollering is. It's just seeing Elisa Longo Borghini, just the seconds and the gap just growing and growing ahead of you. Yeah, awful, agonizing, these roads. I've been in the position myself before, and you can see the rider. It's almost like they're just so far away, though, when you're on such a straight road. Elisa Longo Borghini, though, this is the start of that final climb. So for Elisa Longo Borghini, she will be able to see that red arrow, the flam rouge, the sign for one kilometre to go as she goes round this twist and turn. So she's turned left then immediately right, and she'll be able to see that flam rouge ahead of her. So that'll be a really great sight for Elisa Longo Borghini now. Climb number 20 today in Brabant Appeal is the s in Overizer, this famous S-Bend climb now that uh, ends the uh, Brabant Appeal Classic. What a start to the season Elisa Longo Borghini has had. Third in Umlup, Het Newsblad, second in Strada Bianchi, Trofe Oro down in Italy. Took her first win of the season in that one, that Ronda van Vlaanderen, the Tour of Flanders, but is looking on absolutely stunning form here with Amstel Gold ahead of us this weekend. Flesh well on and Liege, Baston Liege to come next week. Those three races that this rider here in the national champs jersey of the Netherlands, Damie Vollering took all three. That famous triple um, last season on route to what was an incredible season for the SD Works rider. But this, Danny, has been some performance from Elisa Longa Borghini in Lidl Trek today. It has. She's going to be so, so happy with this individually and as a team. They work really hard. They had the strength in numbers from the start of this race, always present towards the front and making the race happen, taking the race into their own hands, which is really paying off now. And of course, Elisa Longo Borghini with the legs to finish it off. And this is only going to do wonders for, again, her confidence that she is on the form of her life and in the best place that she needs to be at the start of this season. We know how happy her head is as well, away from the bike. And we always say that happy head, fast legs. And for Elisa Longo Borghini, she is in the perfect place now. Into those barriers, she will be able to see the finish shortly. And on a Wednesday, a sunny day here in Belgium, Elisa Longa Borghini is going to take career win number 43 and add her name to a very famous roll call of honor here in Brabant Appeal. This is one classic that she hasn't won. And it is the battle today between Lidl Trek and SD Works Pro Time. And it is advantage Lidl Trek, Elisa Longo Borghini. Now the final few meters takes her third win of the season. Longo Borghini absolutely phenomenal ride here in Overizer to take the Brabant Appeal Classic. What a ride. And Damie Vollering today just came up against someone that just had that extra power and strength. Yeah, she was just the stronger of the two, wasn't she? And Elisa Longo Borghini, you would say that Demi Vollering has done absolutely everything that she could to put herself in a winning position. But Elisa Longo Borghini, the stronger rider on the day.
Vollering comes home for second place behind. It is down to the group for the battle for the podium. Longavoidi takes the win. Vollering takes second place for SD Works Pro Time. And then we'll look down the road to see who is going to take the sprint here for the final position on the podium today. Are we going to get a surprise rider on that podium? You can see sprinting it out. Shirin Van Anroy trying to come up. Alex Manley for here for Liv Alula Jaco. Is it going to be Manley that takes the podium for the Aussie team? And crosses the line. Great finish there for Alex Manley to put herself onto the podium. That was a really good finish from uh, Alexandra Manley from the Liv Alula Jaco team. She'll be really happy with that, as will the team, of course, with recent success from Letizia Paternosta. But here is our winner, Elisa Longo-Borghini, with a big smile across her face.